Okay. All right. All righty. Let's get started. Let's do this. Welcome Hi. to Wake. Hi, everybody, and welcome to Wacom, Texas. Texas. I'm Chris I'm Kerr. I'm Jay Myers. And I'm Chris Kerr. This is the show where you dream past the part and we screencast some art. Today's episode is about tats. Tats. All right. Or as people call them, tattoos. Let's get started. Um, you remember the Star Wars movie Tattoo On, I think? Isn't that a planet? That's I, probably where the term tattoo came from. I've never heard of that before. Okay, so I'm starting with my arm. Mm, and, that um, looks like a cliff's edge. I'm very tan and looks muscular. Like, <laughs> so <laughs> kind of looks like a turd. Well, I <laughs> people have said I have a turd arm or turd turds in my beard or okay so you're luckily going to get to see how to design a tattoo for a very strong tan masculine arm Much and i'm also going to draw jade jade's arm which will be a tan masculine <laughs> she'll be pale pasty okay no definition um arm so can you hit me with some really insipid pink off-white pink color yeah, yeah, that's yeah. perfect. Okay, so in contrast, um, oh, oh, here we go. I'm way over here. In contrast, uh, it's a little bit yellow. You gotta bring it out a little bit. What's that? You gotta bring it out. It gives me some curve. I know, but it's. Can you maybe change to a pink color? Like, think no tan. Like never, that. There we go. Okay. That's that looks like a good one. All that's right. Good skin tone. Okay. Make it a little bit bigger. So, yeah. So like that, have, like one big bicep. That's yeah. awesome, dude. All right. So then. That's cool. <laughs> we have a really. like two, It's like double stack bicep. Yep. Tiny canvas for that one. All right. So then we have Jade's arm. You got to bring up the really other side. Really nodule elbow Eight there. Points. And this is the bicep area. That's awesome. All right. Cool. Let's get started. All right. So can you hit me with some green? Green. Like a fresh. Dragon yeah. green. Right there, that looks That's like pretty good, color. actually. Now with yeah. point size, let's go yeah, smaller. let's go smaller. Whoa, got really small. <laughs> <laughs> like that? All right, yeah, it's perfect. Okay. Yeah. Can you go out the way? Yep. All right. Uh, so we've got two arms here. I think you, that, that one looks a little messed up. Mine looks a little bit messed up. Nah, it's pretty. But... All right, so we're going to go with a... Now, do you have any tats, Chris? Uh, I like to say I do, but I really don't. <laughs> I like to say I do. Whoa. That is awesome. Whoa. That is awesome. Dude, this is a extreme dragon. All right, and dragons have a really long neck region. And then we're going to move into That's powerful cool. Now, tattoos arms. really started, I think, from um, sailors and pirates. Oh, really? Yep. Pirates used to get one kind of like a, like a gang. Like, hey, I'm in this pirate gang. And so you would have a certain Whoa, um, tattoo shape. Uh, a lot of the times they did anchors and they did pinup girls in, the, in World War II. Um, and they sometimes get a little provocative with them. They're huh. known kind of as a sex symbol, I think. Uh, only sexy people have them, Chris. Oh, really? Uh-huh. Um, and... Really, it's kind of a common thing anymore. Back I'll take a little break for a second here. <laughs> <laughs> you guys don't see it, but we got a pinwheel over here. Yeah, uh, we got a pinwheel. The Wakeham Studios needs some uh, an upgrade. Yeah, go ahead. We'll, we'll talk about our account. About, um, so back in the fifties, right. you know, what's kind back. of a, okay. Um, we should maybe make my arm a little thicker. <laughs> we don't have to though. Well, it should right. maybe be so, a little bit thicker. Yeah, it's getting a little abstract here, which is fine. No, that's awesome. It's fine. So I got legs, and um, I'll save. Yeah, I'm gonna color some in actually. Okay. Go ahead and color. So now that would probably be a pretty expensive tattoo. I would guess guesstimate maybe two hundred dollars. What do you think? Oh yeah, easily. Now if you did a lot of coloring, you could look up three hundred, four hundred. It gets expensive with the color. Um, I just got a text message from someone. Oh okay. You're probably your mom. It's probably fan mail. Yeah. Um, All right, that's enough for that. That's I'm gonna come awesome. back in and do some line work later. And let's get started on your tattoo. So I probably want a big snake or maybe, you know, something uh, like a Harley. Uh, if I ever got a tattoo, I could picture not. myself with a Harley. 
I think you're or gonna maybe get... like a Tasmanian Devil, like last week's no, episode or something. I think you're probably going to get a Geico. Okay. Geico Gecko. Like, well, it kind of looks like a T Rex. Well, I could picture if I had a tattoo, it'd probably be a T Rex. Okay. Not really, though. How come? All right. So that's more your speed. Can you give me some black so I can work on the outline on my tattoo a little bit? Okay. <laughs> could you you want to touch up mine a little more? No. <laughs> No, yours is looking pretty good. All right. I don't want to spend excess amount of time on right. yours one. Okay. Okay, can you lower the point size a little bit? Yeah. So I can get more detail. Okay. Same Always thing. important when you're doing outline work. Um, when you have smaller. the tat shop, you want to put a fine needle. Yeah, that's perfect. Uh, and also at the tat shop, make sure you always get a fresh needle. I mean, we don't want to get right. diseases. Like I said, your, yours is almost done. I don't so waste always a lot of... make sure that your tattoo artist shows you the needle that he opens. Yeah. I don't um, want to waste a whole lot of time on your tat because... Well, we can go in and fill it out in a second. All right. Uh, yeah, see, yours is awesome. There, and then flames are really important. You want to really spend see, a lot of time. See, yours is looking good. You should come over and maybe work on mine a little. Spend a lot of time on the flames. And then since it is um, a lizard, we want to do some work here. Flaring nostrils. Maybe some more flames coming out of the nostrils. Ooh. Or lightning bolts. Whoa. All right. And That's awesome. Tiny ears. And, you do kind um, of have tiny ears. Yeah, no. tiny ears and baby teeth. Uh huh. All right, and then you just texture is, is huge. Man, I just keep getting my phone's okay, blowing well, up. Well, you're pretty popular. Yeah. And then I, the I get them too sometimes. Yeah, the muscles. Yeah, or not? No, sometimes I do. The muscles here. Um, small hands. Dragons have small hands. And more bicep muscles on this arm. Good. This is the leg. I like how yours is. You show biceps on yours, and then the tattoo on yours has biceps. And you draw mine. They got little stick hands. Yeah, we'll get to yours. We'll get to yours okay. in a bit. Um, claws. Spend a lot of time. Yeah, you should put some claws on mine too. Because when you you get well, that's know. cool. When you get tattoos, you know people look for look at that teeth. spear tail. You should give mine a spear tail. People look for teeth and claws. Um, texture, if it's mm -hmm. a reptile, it should have reptilian texture. Mm -hmm. and that's Which is known tell. as scales. Yeah, that's how you can tell if it's an expensive tattoo. Mm -hmm. Oh man, this is looking cool. That is awesome, man. Yeah. All right, let's go um, over mine. Well, I'm almost, yeah, okay, you're right, you're right. We're almost done, so I need to go ahead and do a little detail work. So let's get a little sad eye, maybe. Wait. A little bit of saggy, droopy eyes here. And a little definition on the mouth, and maybe one the heck, <laughs> one or two toenails, <laughs> and the spot for the ear. All right, I think uh, yeah, it looks pretty I'm, good. I, okay, I like your tattoo. It looks great. I would get something much cooler <laughs> than that. Uh, all right, that's our show.